Hello everyone and welcome back to part 5 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I'm Mike65707 and I actually know what part I'm on now. <laughs> that was just a little lapse of judgment in my part. Anyway, in the last episode... Oh, crap. In the last episode, we finished off Treasure Trove Cove and we opened up level 3 and we're getting ready to enter it now. If I can master basic pla platforming. Yay! Anyway, this is level three, Clanker's Cavern. Now, this was the level that would stop me in my tracks when I was younger. Reason being is I had a phobia of water in real life and in video games. Anything with water, having to go underneath it for an extended period of time, I was no good at. So yeah, this uh, water temple in Ocarina of Time, yeah. Uh, those are the only two games, those are the big games that come out in my mind because they were the two that I was stuck, <laughs> stuck on for the longest. But eventually I got over that little fear, or at least in video games. Not sure if I'm over it in real life, but I haven't really had a chance to test it anytime soon, right? Uh, Okay, let's try not dying, right? I'm pretty freaking close. Uh, okay, pick that up. I don't want to die on the third level of the game. That would not be fun. More useless gold feathers that won't be useless, useless for so much longer. Fine, just, uh, just do the beak attack right in front of these things when they pop out like that. They're pretty easy, to, pretty easy to kill, but as you see, I was messing around and failing a lot. here, and I will take this life. And now we got to enter here, right here. Always had problem getting down in there. I just couldn't do it couldn't do it. Yeah, now it's like no problem. That's a giant metal well. Just, I'm Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water. Want fresh air. Well, if he wants fresh air, then why doesn't he just, you know, go up and get it? Oh. There's a giant chain. Hmm. Let's go see if we can take care of that. Uh, normally, I would. Pro you probably want to go back to the top and get fresh air, or you can just risk coming down here and finding this fish, who will blow out bubbles. And of course, in Nintendo fashion, the bubbles will give you air if you pop them. Now there's a whole bunch of musical notes. There was a Jinjo. There's a that key. The key is what we'll be using to uh, raise Clanker to the top. But first, I like to collect everything that's around. Just be mindful of how much air you have. There's been a couple times when I've cut it close. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and give him the air bubble. So, like I said, I do not want to die on the third level of the game. That just wouldn't be Let's go get that Jinjo, who's begging and pleading for help. Save you, little Jinjo. Uh, no, I want more bubble. We need more bubble. I'll get this one over here. Air, sweet air. One more, and then we'll go turn the key. To turn the key, you just swim through it, and you could either swim, turn around, and do it again, or you could just, yeah, just kind of can stay around the general area uh, if I can. Okay, one more will do it. Okay, I kind of glitched through that key, but whatever works. And this will raise Clanker to the top. And 
There's our prize. Give me some more air before I leave. Oh. If I can reach it. Okay, blow another bubble. Blow another bubble. That was close. One more. Alright. Now I usually go up at this angle. Because before I, I don't exactly go straight to the top, I go take a small detour into another one of these side rooms. Into this one with the green hue to it. Greenish tint. Oh, maybe this wasn't it. Alright, fail. Yep, I went the complete wrong way. Right there's the one I go into. See the other one with that one's actually a greener tint than the other one was. Just the way. Uh. Anyway, if we go up here. Music changes and Stippet mutants we are, which excise ours. Fight us, you must. That's baby mutants. And these ain't friendly. They ain't no Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pre-teen mutant snippets attack or something. I don't know. And we get a prize for that too. Which will be technically our first jigsaw piece after collecting these nets. And I guess there's eggs up here if you needed any, but. Alright, basic platforming. Come on. You can do it. Yay. Alright, there's number one. Now, let's go back out the way we came. And if we're quick enough, which with the way I've been playing, I'm not really too sure I could do this, so I'm going to play it safe. But if we go back down here, and there was this one tube right here. You gotta be kinda quick to get this, but it's not it's nothing too terrible. I always had problems with this one when I first played, but I'd, I'd always get to the end and I'd be out of air. I don't see how I was going that slow. I, I might have been just kicking my feet the entire time. I really don't know, but as long as you have a decent speed, you can get back out of here with plenty of time. If you count three air things, is plenty of time. Alright, now we go dunk underneath one more time. Because we got some musical notes to get down here in this tube thing. Some kind of tube. Easily missed if you're not paying attention, I guess. But I always remember to get them. Because I get them right at the beginning. We'll fly back up here underneath this tube. We have a new cone piece. One more, and we get another. P about to say heart container. Well, um, one more, and we get another honeycomb extension to our life, which is always nice. Kill this. And then shock jump up to here. Mumbo token. And just go back the way we came at first. And. Oh, that is a weird. What the? That was kind of weird. Camera angle just kind of froze on me. Anyway, now we go back to the shock jump so we can go the other way. Which will give us more fun stuff. 
You break that this down. Inside. We have another Jindu. Yay, Jindu. And we have another one that we can break here and get the second honeycomb piece. I need all the life I can get with the way I am playing. Alright, um, well, I guess we can go ahead and get on top of him now. Yeah, you can just jump up there. I, I used to think you had to, you know, super somersault bounce up there. But no, you just have to jump and make it. Now you gotta be careful on this one, though. Although I say don't be careful and just jump and try to land here. It's quicker. Yeah, Divine Gravity. Good job, Banjo. And Kazooie, I suppose. Alright. Doesn't really matter. I needed to get back on top. Anyway. Right. Get back on top of this fan. Get back on him. I guess we can finally get our prize for raising him to the top, right? Doo -doo. Clanker's teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. Help Clanker. But we, we just saved you and now you're complaining? <sighs> never. People are never satisfied. Especially if you're a giant metal shark that eats garbage. Just seems to be that way. All the giant metal sharks that I've met in my life at least. I almost got owned by this when I fell. Not this time. Haha. <laughs> Alright, we got one more side to take care of, and then we're pretty much at, pretty much done with the walls and the surrounding places. Go up here. Haha, <laughs> he had no death cry because I glitched the sounds. Anyway, we jump up here. We do these little sidewall jump things. Get used to this, you'll have to use it later on in the game. Although there's I think there's only real one one other stage that really makes use of it. And there's a one up here, but you don't really need it. And we jump down in here and I'm pretty sure it's this pipe. We go in this pipe. And at the bend. Another Jinju! Yay, Jinju. Alright, that's it for everything on the surrounding areas. Now let's go fix Clanker's tooth problem. Right over here. I see his golden teeth. Now we're gonna remove them, because being a rapper isn't cool. Done. Just kidding. I don't prefer. I don't like rap, but I don't care about other people who do like rap. It's their opinion. All right, that's number six. Now we're inside of Clanker. Yep. It seems to be some kind of android because he's got flesh, but he's also got mechanical parts. So I don't know what's up with that. Ooh, swimmy, swimmy. this part. Alright, well, we're almost out of time, so uh, thanks for watching this part of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I'm Mike707, and I'll see you next time.